recently published new work on the topic of robotic abrasive blasting system developing an approach to automatic self diagnosis of problem that could lead to greater ease of use and more widespread adoption of the potentially game changing surface repression technology the research team working on the new study looked at how a robotic blasting system might be equipped a self diagnosis problem in the field issues like hose blowout running out of abrasive media or a failure in the compressed air supply can wreak havoc when the robotic blast system is at work because unlike a manned system wherein the blaster can stop the job immediately to address the problem an autonomous system might not stop working resulting in lost time and substrate that's not evenly blasted The study they conducted looked at three approaches to detecting a fault in the robotic blast system RGB D cameras that is depth imaging audio detection and pressure transducers RGB D imaging uses a visual indicator to show where the blasting is occurring and if a change can be detected in the processes such as if blast media is no longer coming out of the nozzle and therefore it's not cleaning the substrate sound the researchers explain can be used to automatically detect changes in the blasting processes such as if the system stops sending air and media through the nozzle or if air continue but media stops pressure detection can't be used to differentiate between situation in which air and media are being pushed through the hose but can be used to tell if the air has stopped and blasting has ceased for whatever reason each approach has some limits audio detection for example can be less effective in situation where other blasting is occurring nearby or other sources of sounds are present all three method of detecting fault to prove more than 95% effective leading the team concluding that the further research on combining the three system could yield an effective method of automatically detecting failure in the robotic blasting system the contractor also has additional benefit from using robotic equipment number 1 reduced exposure to hazardous condition or material in confined spaces Number 2 reduced cost of personal protective equipment due to reduced usage. Number 3 reduced number of employees in confined spaces using rope access equipment. Number 4 improved surface cleanliness, consistency and coating thickness control. 5 fever coating holiday occurs resulting in less touch up work. 6 reduced to blast media and coating material wastage 7 reduced to fuel consumption due to faster production rate 8 faster return to service moving on to next job 9 reduced to fatigue of employees